Well, good morning and welcome to, to Spain and to Marmolejo. I don't know if all of you can speak English or something like that, but I am going to try to explain you a little bit what, is, what we are going to, to, to say and to explain about Marmolejo. Uh, my name is Pilar Lara. Uh, I am I'm Mari Correas. Uh, we are councillors and uh, Manuel Luzano is the mayor of the town hall of Marmolejo. Um, it's a pleasure for us that you are here in our town in Marmolejo. And it's also a real honor that you have chosen Spain and more specifically our town to carry out your Erasmus Plus exchange stay. In addition, I have the honor of also being a host family for one of you, Teresa. Uh, since I am the mother of one of the students from Marmolejo who was in Czech, Czech Republic last year. So I know very well how excited, excited it's for you to be here today and even more two years after two years of pandemic in which these trips have been suspended or cancelled. I hope you enjoy a lot this educational experience and that it will be also a great advance for you in your study. To study, learn, and practice another language, get to know other cultures, or soak up the way of life of another place in another place can be as enriching as opening a book. And for this talk to visit Marmolejo is a great opportunity that I know you will make the most of it. The Erasmus experience we offer you will offer you a personal and educational development that you will never forget. And I can say this from my own experience. When I was at the university in my last year, I had the opportunity to enjoy an Erasmus program in Netherlands. Like you today, I could live during nine months a little more <laughs> with natives and learn firsthand about their culture, their way of living, and their beautiful cities. It, once, it was one of the best experiences of my life. For those uh, who don't know it previously, Marmolejo is a small town in the province of Jaén with uh, almost or around uh, 7,000 inhabitants. And thanks to its location near the main river in Andalusia, the Guadalquivir receives a large number of tourists who come to see our spa or health resort, I don't know the name, where you can drink mineral medicinal water. In addition to this attraction, Marmolejo has a unique museum in the province, the Maite Espinola Contemporary Art Museum, a place where you will be able to discover great works of modern art, ranging from a sculpture to a small format format painting, and the largest painting in Spain. Marmolejo is near Sierra Morena, which is a group of mountains, which is also a tourist attraction for those who live, who like adventure in nature. And we also have the best olive in all the world. <laughs> an, authentic, an authentic liquid gold, with uh, which I invite you to cook, and also taste it in our bars and restaurants. A complete, complete range of possibilities that you will also be able to enjoy during your stay in Marmolejo. In addition to these touristic experiences, I know that the Spanish teacher and students have prepared, prepared a fantastic program for all the week. So I hope you enjoy with them to the fullest and you leave our town with beautiful memories so that in the future you can visit us again with your family. Have a good time here in my town and in Spain. Also, I would like to thank the teachers of the ES Virgen de la Cabeza who will join you in this experience and the director Paqui Lozano for having made possible that this project is carried out in Marmolejo. For you as visitor or for us as host, it's a real opportunity to enjoy the Erasmus experience. Finally, from the one, well, now I'm going to, to well, Manolo Lozano, the mayor, can't speak uh, English, 
uh, he's going to speak in Spanish. I don't know if you are going to understand, but uh, perhaps uh, Marisa, the teacher, <laughs> Uh, after after then can translate it a little a little bit <laughs> and and finally uh, we are going to give you a, a special gift a well a small welcome gift for your visit uh, here in, in Marmolejo some tourist information and some souvenirs I hope you like and when you come back home you will remember this small town in Spain that welcomes you today thank you very much Maleni, ¿lo ha dicho ella todo ya o no? Sí, ¿no? Bueno, sorry. Welcome. Uh, I don't speak English. Mm, por eso, ¿cómo es por eso? So. Show. She's my spokes person. <risa> bueno, sea como sea, Maleni, yo creo que con lo que ha dicho Pilar, luego ya se lo cuentas tú o la compañera, un resumen. Yo encantado de que estéis aquí. Y, sobre todo, poner en valor el programa, el programa y el trabajo que venía haciendo. El centro de aquí de Marmolejo, el instituto de aquí de Marmolejo, es pionero y es puntero. Yo creo que es un referente en este tipo de programas y eso es porque hay un trabajo detrás de todo eso. Evidentemente, del alumnado, pero sobre todo también del profesorado, que hace que se genere ese caldo de cultivo necesario para que estos programas pues, sean un éxito y sobre todo se sigan desarrollando año tras año y al final se consoliden. Son buenos, evidentemente, porque en esta sociedad en la que vivimos, y yo creo que desgraciadamente estamos viendo hoy, más que nunca en estos tiempos de guerra, cómo la unidad de la unión, valga la redundancia, hace que seamos más fuertes o nos sintamos más seguros, o al menos estemos más amparados los unos con los otros. Y para fortalecer esos lazos y esos vínculos es fundamental este tipo de experiencias que sobre todo la gente joven, en un momento determinado de su vida, pues tenga esa posibilidad. Que sea poquitos días, luego hay otros programas que duran eh, un año, eh, tengan la posibilidad de interactuar, pues al fin y al cabo, con, con ciudadanos, con paisanos y con paisanas también, porque al final tenemos que considerarnos todos lo mismo. Tenemos que tener ese concepto de Unión Europea, independientemente de que cada uno nos sintamos pues, de España, de Grecia, de la República Checa o de Portugal. Pero al fin y al cabo somos todos europeos. Y desde esa unidad del europeísmo tenemos que crecer económicamente, tenemos que ser solidarios los unos con los otros, tenemos que defendernos los unos a los otros. Y esa globalización que el mundo nos está imponiendo, seguro, seguro, que afectará, evidentemente, a nuestros territorios, pero de una manera mucho más controlada. Dicho eso, yo lo que os pido es que disfrutéis de nuestro pueblo, que disfrutéis de nuestra gente, de la gastronomía, bueno, y que conozcáis pues, una parte singular de España que es Marmolejo, un pequeño pueblo de la provincia de Jaén, como explicaba Pilar algo ahí en los retazos que he podido entender en su intervención, que bueno, que al fin y al cabo lo que intenta es pues, abrirse al mundo, y esto es un ejemplo de ello, para que el futuro que tengamos pues, sea un futuro muchísimo más esperanzado. Muchísimas gracias, thank you very much y welcome.